Good day guys, welcome back to Carl's Couch Time. I um, <clears throat> hope everyone's safe and well and uh, you're all uh, looking after each other. Today's quite a day, I've had my second jab today. Head hasn't exploded, arms, hands haven't fallen off, my wife's still alive, we've all had our jabs today. And it's also ugly shirt day, so I thought I'd go for a nice ugly shirt. Hence, ugly shirt. Um, what I want to talk about today is stupid people. And apparently, so I've heard, barbecuing is racist. It's a true fact, as you can see. How is eating meat racist? I'll gladly tell you. Looks like we've got an oppressor on our hands. So, during slavery times, slaves did not get to eat the same things as their masters. They got the scraps that no one wanted. Chitterlings. Now, that black people have overcome slavery, they developed a rich barbecue culture to make up for all the meat eating that they lost out on. So when you go to the store and you buy a piece of meat as a white person, you are actively taking away a piece of meat that could be being enjoyed by a survivor of ancestral slavery. Eating meat is not only racist, but it's also anti-Semitic. During the Holocaust, Jews did not get to eat meat in labor camps. They ate potato soup which would spill on their bodies, burning them and giving them infections. Now, Jew survivors eat a lot of meat. Brisket. Just let them have that. Stop appropriating. Now that girl, obviously, she's a few, she's a few things missing off her roof. You know, a few slates missing there. God knows what her parents are saying. I mean, fuck, there's so many things that are wrong with that. It's, it's unbelievable. But that's actually that's sitting out there. The girl has put that information out there. And these people are the future of the world. You've got Thunberg. And you listen to her shit. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? When you hear that crap, you think, my fucking Christ. And these people, are, they're actually in the world. The world is full of stupid people. They're, they're influencing the youngsters of this world. Now, it's a big difference between stupid people and people doing stupid things. These are stupid people. Greta Thunberg has said that the massive bushfires in Australia is down to global warming. Now, a few people might go along with that, but let me just tell you this. Greta Thunberg now is 18, so she's been on this earth for 18 years, probably f f fully understanding things from about the age of 13, 14. So she's got four years of understanding shit properly. So she's not all that fucking clever. The Aboriginal community have been on the have been on the earth for sixty thousand years. They can trace it back sixty thousand years. These are the guys that said the bushfires are being managed wrong. They're the ones who sat back and looked at the government, and not just the Australian government, but the American government and the the governments around the world that have these big bushfires in their countries. They sat there and looked and went, "Well, you're managing it wrong." They changed the way forestry is managed in the late 80s so it took that long for all the crap to build up along the ground underneath the bush underneath the, the trees and everything to give it the fuel for the bushfires that's what caused the bushfires not global warming but Thunberg she's shouting her mouth off and she's going out there and she's talking about global warming like she knows it she even said she should be at school like fuck you should be at school so what that tells me is she's uneducated so whoever's pulling the strings behind her probably needs to have a slap and needs to shut up. Now, the other one, this silly girl was putting this about barbecues of racist, anti-Semite. So when you go to the store and you buy a piece of meat as a white person, you are actively taking away a piece of meat that could be being enjoyed by a survivor of ancestral slavery. The world is full of stupid people. My fucking cross. What the hell are her parents doing? The parents must be looking and going, 
I am really proud of my daughter. She's now come out, she's making a stand that barbecuing is racist. Fuck off, is it racist? Are you stupid? Fucking racist, my ass. What, you're gonna have BLM complaining about barbecues? That makes the whole of Australia fucking racist. It makes a big chunk of America racist because they have barbecues. That makes me racist because I have a barbecue. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ, people. Where do you draw the line? Where is it we're gonna get hold of these people, get hold of this young girl and put her straight and get hold of the parents and find the parents for doing a bad job? That is a form of child abuse. Letting your child spout that sort of shit in the world is child abuse. The parents need to start being held accountable for their dumbass kids because that is the future of this world. Dumbass kids who have no clue about anything in the world, but they are shouting about it. They are getting offended by it. They are the models of wokeness. The same as Harry and Meghan, another pair. A pair of millionaires complaining that they're all done by. Fucking Jesus. We'll come back to them later on. I've already done one video on Meghan and Harry and what the fuck they've done. And we'll come back to them later on. They are just a wealth of information that we could go to town on. But these two we're talking about today and that I've shown you today, they're the ones that you need to say, fuck off. Get hold of their parents, give them both a fucking slap because they're child abuse. What they've done is child abuse. Greta Thunberg, she has captured the media and she can travel the world talking about global warming. And I bet you she travels first class in big jets, private jets, big fucking planes. She has increased her carbon footprint tenfold. And the other one for the barbecue cop. Really, people? Anyway, it's just a short one today. If you liked it today, Give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe. Let your mates know what's going on. Stay safe. There's a lot of shit in the world today, as we've seen. People with some really fucked up ideas uh, without even the COVID shit going on. But stay safe. Get your jab if you can. Make sure you get that. Look after yourself. Look after the family. Um, you've been watching Carl's Couch Time. Tune in next week. I don't know what we're going to talk about yet, but hey, there's a lot of it. We've got a lot of choices. Stay safe. I'll see you later on. Ta-da for now.